How's it going everybody? Raising Hell here and today I'm going to be going over a list of the 8 console commands I use the most in Don't Starve Together as a dedicated server administrator. The command line can be a bit daunting for first time users. You open it by hitting the tilde key on your keyboard but now with the inclusion of IntelliSense in Don't Starve Together there's never been a better time to use it to control your world in whichever way you see fit. Available console commands in Don't Starve Together range from the fairly simple like saving a game to unreasonably complicated, like revealing the entire map. For the latter, I generally use a mod like too many items, but I usually use the console instead for simple commands, and today we are going to be going over that list of simple commands I use the most when playing Don't Starve Together. Another note before I begin, Don't Starve Together has IntelliSense for the in-game command line, which makes it much easier, as you no longer need to remember the exact name of valid commands or entities as you type in IntelliSense will suggest valid options that match the text you typed in. This functionality doesn't exist in single player Don't Starve, at least not without a mod. Number 1. Go Next I use Go Next quite a bit in sandbox worlds where I'm trying stuff out. It allows me to instantly jump to an entity, which saves a lot of time traveling around the map when I need to test a specific feature. The format for this command is C underscore Go Next opening paren quote entity name end quote closing paren. Number 2. Spawn I use spawn to create most in-game entities that I need when I'm testing things in a sandbox type world. You can create almost anything using this command, from mobs to resources to items. Anything you do spawn in will appear at the location of your mouse cursor on the screen, and you can easily pass a number parameter which allows your spawns to scale from 1 to 100 or more. The format for this command is C spawn opening parent quote entity name end quote comma numeric value closing parent. Number 3. Give Give is a good command when you need to give your character an item but don't want to waste time picking it up off the ground. The downside is that it only works with items that can be placed in a player's inventory but it still saves a lot of time if you need dozens of resources because using the spawn command to give them would require you to pick each one up individually. The format for this command is C underscore give opening parent quote resource name end quote comma numeric value closing parent. Number 4. Count Prefabs Count prefabs isn't as useful as some of the other commands on this list, but it satisfies your curiosity when you just have to know how many twigs are lying about in your world or if a seasonal boss has already spawned. This command is let down a bit because of how I haven't been able to get it to print the results to the in-game console. So at the moment I only use it in dedicated servers where I have a separate command line open on my desktop to run the dedicated server. The format for this command is C underscore count prefabs opening parent quote entity name end quote closing parent. Number 5. Save I try to use save anytime I'm entering into a situation I think I might need to roll back to later or before shutting down a world. Running this command creates a save point similar to how the game saves at the start of each new day, allowing you to either roll back to it or start the game back up from that point if your server crashes. The format for this command is C underscore save open parent close parent. Number 6. Roll back. Since I usually play on my own dedicated server, there is no easy way to select a save to roll back to using a graphical user interface. This is where the rollback command comes to my rescue. With it, I can roll back multiple saves at one time. Let's say a new player joins when you are down in the caves and you realize only when you come up two days later that they torched the place to the ground. Using rollback and a number parameter, you can instantly jump back to that save the game created three days ago without needing to select the rollback option multiple times from within the game menu options. The format for this command is C underscore rollback opening parent numeric value closing parent. Number 7. Shut down. I've been using this command to shut down my dedicated servers as of late because of how I can easily do it from within game. In the past, I've logged out of a world and then forgot to close it down from the second command line on my desktop that I have connected to that world, which would result in us losing progress at the start of the next session. There is a save parameter you can pass when running this command, but I've always used the separate save command instead. The format for the shutdown command is 
C underscore shut down, opening parent, closing parent. Number 8. Announce. Announce is a command I haven't used as much as the others, but it's great for getting the attention of other players if you're an admin. Maybe you need to restart the server, or just want everyone to know which boss they should gear up for next. Messages sent using announce are much harder to miss than posting them in the in-game text chat, and is my preferred means of communication if any of the players on the server aren't in voice chat with me. The format for this command is C underscore announce, opening parent, quote, message content, end quote, closing parent. So that's the list of my most frequently used console commands for Don't Starve Together. Once again, these are simple enough where typing them into the command line is usually faster than controlling them through a mod that provides a graphical user interface like too many items. But for the more complex commands out there, I strongly recommend a mod as typing or copy pasting lengthy commands takes an unnecessarily long amount of time. If I overlooked your favorite console command, let me know about it below or even better in my discord server. Thank you very much for watching as always and I hope to see you next time.